One of the most powerful features in our program is the search feature. It allows you to find out where a word appears in a book, in a document, and even in a note. To use our search feature, you have to do three things. You have to type in a word that you want to search for, you have to select the books to search in, and finally, you have to indicate how much of the Bible to search in. In other words, do you want to search the entire Bible or do you only want to search a specific range of the Bible? To open the search feature, go to the top left corner of the program. There you will find the search icon. Click on it, and that opens the search feature window. You can also open the search feature window by clicking on search in the main menu. Then click on search in the drop down menu. The first thing about the search feature window that I want to point out is it's divided into three sections. The section at the top is called the search for section. This is where you enter the word that you want to search for. The middle section is called the search in section. This is where you select the books that you want to search in. And finally at the bottom we have the Bible search options section. This is where you indicate if you want to search the entire Bible or only a specific range of the Bible. Okay, so now to do a search we go to the top section and type in a word. I'm going to type in the word grace. And that's it for step number one. For step number two, we go to the middle section called the search in section to tell the program what books you want to search in. Now, there are several ways to tell the search program what books you want to search in. The first way is to manually locate the books you want to search in, then click on the box next to each one of the books. You can locate the books in this library tree by clicking on the plus sign next to the category folder. That expands the category, exposing the books in that category. Once you have exposed the books, scroll down until you find the book you want to search in, and then click on the box next to the book. I'm going to look for the King James Bible, then check the box next to it. Next, I'm going to look for the New King James Bible, then click on the box next to that Bible. And finally, I'm going to look for the Holman Christian Standard Bible and check the box next to that Bible. Now, before going on, I want to point out a line on the search feature. And that line is the Books Selected line. It lists the books that you're going to search in. See how it lists the three Bibles I just checked? If I do my search now, the search feature will search these three Bibles for the word grace. Okay, now another way to tell the search program what books you want to search in is to use the filter feature. Before I show you how to use the filter feature though, I want to clear the list of books that I selected earlier by clicking on this clear button. What the filter feature does is it helps you find a book in your library. It filters away all the books in your library except the books that match what you type in. Watch carefully. I click inside the filter field. I type in the name of a book. I'm going to filter the library for the Holman Christian Standard Bible and that exposes the Holman Christian Standard Bible helping me find it in the library. I check the box next to it and now I have selected that book to search in. When we look at the books selected line we see that now the Holman Christian Standard Bible is one of the books that are going to be searched in. So we just covered two ways to tell the search feature what books to search in. Now we only have one more thing to do. We need to tell the search feature how much of the Bible to search. In other words, do you want to search the entire Bible for this word? 
Do you want to search just the Gospels? Or do you want to search just the Old Testament or New Testament? Or do we not even want to filter out any of the Bible at all? To do this, we go down to the bottom to the section called Bible Search Options. This field here tells you how much of the Bible we will search in. Do not filter means we will search the entire Bible. If I click on the down arrow and make another selection such as New Testament, that will tell the search feature to search just the New Testament for the word. Once we've made a selection in the Bible search options section, we have satisfied the three requirements to do a search and now all you have to do is click on the search button and you'll get your search result window. This is how you do a basic search.